He was the youngest, so therefore he was my baby, even though he was 26 when he got killed. Uh, he was the type of person that would give you the shirt off of his back. He got that from his daddy and from me. Uh, wouldn't intentionally hurt anybody, but he wouldn't let anybody hurt him or anybody he loved. I mean, how do you convict somebody of first-degree murder and then give them probation? It just doesn't, it doesn't add up. The judge admonished him and said that, you know, if you're not going to comply, then within the next day I'm going to bring you back and you're going to go to jail. And the Hardens believed that. And from right off the bat, he never done the terms. Never done them the way he was supposed to, never has done them the way they were supposed to, and now he has totally forgiven what he didn't do. The reality in this case is, like it or not, Barry Crawford is considered a success. He successfully completed his probation. It's kind of like he failed school, but he got, he got a this diploma anyways. My family was going to be the one to make sure that he done everything he was supposed to do, not thinking that we had to fight the justice system to get it done. The bigger picture is what happens to those who are ordered to pay restitution, particularly to the victims, and they don't. Does anything ever happen? The night he got killed, the night before he got killed the next day, he come by the house that night, and his daddy was sick. And he told me, he said, Mama, take care of my daddy. If you need me, call me. I'll talk to you tomorrow and I'm still waiting for that tomorrow.